Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Suleiman Hamid, and in this video, we will talk about Python strings. Well, in Python, a string is a sequence of Unicode characters. Strings in Python are surrounded by either single quotation mark or double quotation mark. For example, single quote hello is the same as double quote hello. You can display a string literal with the print function. Now let us look at the example by using the online compiler available at programmis.com. Type print hello by using double quote and then type print hello using single quote. After pressing the run button, you will get the output as hello in both cases. This clearly shows that double quote as well as single quote with string give the same output. Now let us assign strings to a variable. Assigning a string to a variable is done with a variable name followed by an equal sign and a string. For example, type a is equal to double quote hello. Here a is declared the moment you assign hello as string by using double quote or single quote. To display the content of a type, print a, press run button to execute the code and you will see that hello is given as the output. Now we will talk about multi-line strings. You can assign a multi-line string to a variable by using three codes. Type the following in the online compiler. A is equal to double code, double code, double code. Whether you are new to programming or an experienced developer, comma, it's easy to learn and use Python. Enter. Start with a beginner's guide. Double code, double code, double code. Enter. Print A. Press the run button and see the output. After seeing the output, you might have noticed that the line breaks are inserted at the same position as in the code. Strings are arrays. Like many other popular programming languages, strings in Python are arrays of bytes representing Unicode characters. However, Python does not have a character data type. A single character is simply a string with a length of 1. Square brackets can be used to access elements of the string. Now let us use the online compiler. Type A is equal to double quote hello comma world exclamation mark double quote. To get the character at position 1, we will type print A square bracket 1 square bracket close. After pressing the run button, we will get E as the output because E is at position 1. Position 0 is the first character that is etched in this case. Similarly, L is at position 2 and so on. Note that the first character has the position 0. Now we will see how to loop through a string. Since strings are arrays, we can loop through the characters in a string with a for loop. Use the online compiler, type for x in double quote banana double quote colon. Then press enter, type print x. After pressing the run button, you will get b a n a n a in different lines as the output. This example shows that how string is an array and how we will loop through each character. Now we will discuss about string length. To get the length of a string, use the len function. Use the online compiler Type A is equal to double quote hello comma world exclamation mark double quote. Press enter. Then type print len A. After pressing the run button, you will get 13 as the output. It counts all the characters including punctuation and spaces. 
Now we will discuss about check string. To check if a certain phrase or character is present in a string, we can use the keyword in. Use the online compiler. Type txt is equal to double quote. The best things in life are free exclamation mark double quote. Then type print double quote free double quote in txt. After running the run button, you will get the output as true because free is present in txt variable. You will get false as the output when the search text is not available. For this you can try type print double quote search double quote in txt and press the run button. You will get false as the output. You can try this on your own. Now we will use an if statement to check whether a text is available in the string or not. Type in the online compiler txt is equal to double quote the best thing in life a free exclamation mark double quote. If double quote free double quote in txt colon press enter print double quote yes comma single quote free single quote is present double quote. After pressing the run button you will get yes free is present as the output because free is already available in txt. This clearly shows that how we can use an if statement to check whether a phrase is available in the string or not. To check if a certain phrase or character is not present in a string, we can use the keyword not if. For example, we want to check if expensive is not present in the following text. The best things in life are free. We have to type the following code in the online compiler. txt is equal to the best things in life are free exclamation mark double quote. Print double quote expensive double quote not in txt. Press the run button to see the output. In the output you will see the answer is true. The answer is true because expensive is not in txt. Now we will use it with an if statement. We will type in the online compiler txt is equal to double quote the best things in life a free exclamation mark double quote if double quote expensive double quote not in txt colon press enter then type print double quote no comma single quote expensive single quote is not present double quote press the run button to see the output you will see the output as no expensive is not present this clearly shows how if statement can be used with the keyword not in to find whether the phrase is available in the string variable or not this is the end of this video if you haven't subscribed the channel then do so by clicking the subscribe button don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification of the latest videos uploaded on our channel don't forget to comment like and share our video we'll meet again with a new video thanks for watching take care and allah hafiz